this front office is so dysfunctional. You got people point fingers. You got Doug Peterson blaming Howie Roseman. It's all uh, Howie Roseman's fault. Then you got Howie Roseman blaming Doug Peterson. Well, the calculations of the cornbread, followed by the veritable gravitational pull, it means it's Doug Peterson's fault. I'm going to tell you who's at fault for all this. The owner, Jeffrey Lurie. Well, hello, friends. Mark Holmes. I'm a grown-ass man. I'm a grown-ass man. I'm a grown-ass man. Grown man. Hey, everybody. King Dingbat here. I'm in my garage with a cigar. It's only a candy cigar because my wife won't let me smoke one. After I put that big fat head up in our bedroom. Let's get rid of that. Uh, at this point... Uh, I'd be happy for Dak to be playing for somebody else. And my team stinks. I agree. Stinks. They laugh about us. We're a disgrace. We suck. I am now Philly 500's bitch. Dallas still stinks. Everybody's having a great Friday. I hope you guys are doing well. You know, the dysfunction, the dysfunction in the Eagles front office is astounding. But I got to tell you, it's not surprising because the truth of the matter is we've been dealing with this for years, for like 10 years. We may have had a, like a two years of where everything seemed to be good and smooth, but who the hell knows? Maybe things just weren't leaked out. But for the most part, I'd say the last nine to ten years, there's been a lot of dysfunction. I'm sick and tired of it. I'm going to talk about it because it annoys the crap out of me. But before I do that, I want to say a couple things. Um, first thing, go to Flick Chat. Link is in the description. Free to join. They got a bunch of contests. They just posted on my thing. I didn't even know they were going to do it. But chances to win, I guess money. I haven't really looked at it, but go there, check it out. You want to um, make make some picks. It's for this weekend for the playoffs, which I'm going to be streaming at least two 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 of three games more, if not all three. Now, we'll get into that in a second, but we got to talk some Eagle stuff, right? I, I'm sick of it. I, I'm so sick of it. And, and I got to tell you, I think a lot of this. A lot of the problems, a lot of the dysfunction comes from Howie Roseman. It comes from Howie Roseman. Okay, now I know Jeffrey Lurie likes him. I know he trusts him. I know how he has compromising photos on him or something. He's got something on this man. He has to. Because if you look at the track record of free agents over the last nine years, if you look at draft picks over the course of the last nine years, they're not good. They're not good. And I don't understand how you can sit there and say, oh, this man deserves to be here. Not in the role of GM or town evaluator. Make him your limo driver. Make him make salads for Carson Wentz. Make him the, the vice president of the company. I don't care. But, uh, you know, but do something where he is not in charge of town evaluating, scouting, um, I say even contracts at this point because we're, what, $70 million over the cap? How's that working out for us? How's that working out for us? It's not, okay? Uh, and then, on top of it, he tells the coach what coaching staff he has to have. So, this guy is like, is like, he's like, he's everywhere, man. He's got the hammer down on this organization, and I think, I think that's the biggest problem. And look, I, I can only say it so many times about Howie Roseman. The truth of the matter is, this is the owner's fault. This is Jeffrey Lurie's fault because he has to make the move. Where is Jeffrey Lurie? He, usually, he comes out, he does a press conference the day after the, the season. Nowhere to be found. I want to know what he's thinking. I want to know how he justifies. The 2018 draft. The 2019 draft. I want to know how he justifies Will Parks being signed only to realize he's not a good fit and you cut him. Somebody tell me that. Because that's stupidity at its finest. I got to tell you. There is 
too much dysfunction on his team. He doesn't know. Uh, Doug doesn't, Doug, Doug and how he can't get along. I, I know that's what this is. I know this is what it's all about. Doug wants control. He wants say. He probably doesn't even want it all. He probably just wants a taste. Just a taste. He only wants a Super Bowl for you. Okay? But how he ain't giving in. How he ain't giving in. How he didn't even listen. According to reports, he didn't even listen to his coaching staff last year. To his coaching staff last year. I mean, they say, we want Justin Jefferson. No. We want, uh, what is the kid? Um, the kid Chin, right? Jeremy Chin. No. He don't even listen to him. So what's the point? Okay? He has to have some serious shit on, on Jeffrey Lurie. He has something on him because I don't understand it. If if I like Howard Rose, if Howard Rose, he was my best friend in the world, and I'm Jeffrey Lurie, I would say, yo, Howie, look, I love you. I want you to be here, but your drafting stinks. Dude, it stinks. I don't want you dealing with it anymore. Dude, are you going to, are you going to, uh, restructure another contract. I mean, we're only going to be a hundred million dollars over the cat next year. You know, that would be my thought. Look, I love you. You can stay, be vice president of the organization. I don't care. But dude, what are you doing? This shit stinks. DK Metcalf, JJ Ortega Whiteside. I mean, you get DK Metcalf. One like he's like this dude, crushing it right, like big, like arms, runs fast, catches everything. Then you get. J.J. Ortega went side with an umbrella. His mom's holding his umbrella on a sunny day at camp. I can't get over the stupidity. Why would you ever, ever not take D.K. Metcalf? I, 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 can't, I can't do it. can't do it anymore. We have to be honest with ourselves. The problem on this team is the owner. Now, we can't fire him. We can't do anything except tell how, as fans... Tell our dissatisfaction. Put out videos like this. Because the truth is, I don't like it. I don't like it, and I think that's the biggest problem. Um, if Doug Peterson wants to be able to pick players that he thinks fits, I understand that. If he wants his own coaching staff, I think that's I think that's fair. But I'll tell you this, he better pick the right guys. If he goes and brings Press Taylor, there's a lot of chatter. Press Taylor's going to be the next offensive coordinator. If that happens... We're screwed. You got to fire Doug. I mean, you got to fire Doug. You got to fire Howie. Get rid of them all. That's how I say it. But I'm telling you, the problem that we have to come to grips with is this owner, loyalty to Howie Roseman, even though it's hurting his own organization. Because that is the truth. If Howie would have just made a couple good picks, you know, in the last few years, just a couple, this team would look dramatically different. Dramatically different. That's just my opinion. Now... Switching gears real quick. I said I was going to stream, um, try to stream at least two games more, if not all three. And I wanted to, to just give you my picks for this weekend and for the games. Um, and definitely, like I said, go to the Flick Chat. Click the link in the description. It's free to join. Join, enter the contest. Maybe you make, maybe you make a little bit of money, a little fazoo, you know what I mean? I mean, otherwise, you could sit around like Michael Anthony. Where's the fitness taken up? And uh, be, everything will be good while Mark's sanding the wood. Sand the wood, Mark. Sand the wood. You know? All right. So let's go over this. So tomorrow we got three games. Sunday we've got three games. I really, I don't know which games I'm going to, I'm going to stream the Buccaneers Washington. I just don't know if I'm going to stream the Rams Seahawks or the Colts Bills. I'll get into it. I, that Colts Bills looks good. Okay. That's the first game tomorrow. Colts at Bills. I think this is a tough game. Because I think I think the Colts are going to come. They're going to come to play. But I'm telling you, that Bills team. Don't be surprised if they win this. If they go, if they come out of the AFC. If any team, in my opinion, is going to beat Kansas City, I think it's going to be Buffalo. I think Buffalo is going to make some serious noise because I like their defense. I like their defense. So I got tomorrow. I got Buffalo over the Colts. Then you have the Rams, Seahawks. Seahawks at home. I like the Seahawks, dude. Then you got Buccaneers, Washington. <laughs> I think that's going to be a slaughter. You know what I mean? So I got the Buccaneers. So tomorrow I have Bills over Colts, Seahawks over Rams, Buccaneers over Washington. The no names. Now, on Sunday, 10 a.m., well, 1 p.m., 1 p.m. Eastern for you guys, Ravens at the Titans. 
this is an interesting game. Um, I, I just think, I just think, I think the Titans, I think the Titans are going to beat the Ravens. I, I just got that feeling. Um, but I mean, Derrick Henry's a beast. Guy had over 2,000 yards. Shout out to him. Um, Tannehill been a great quarterback. I, I can't believe how much he's changed. I just think at home, I think they win. Um, even though there's no real crowd. And then you have um, the second game of the day is the Bears at the Saints. I think this is going to be a blowout. I, I can't see the Bears with true biscuit. You know, I'm all out of whiskey because I lost my true biscuit. I know Philly was right to say that the Bears still stink. I'll tell you what. Tell Josh of the Sports Fury. If the Bears lose by three or less, so if they lose by three or they win, I'm going to send him his Trubisket jersey back. I will send it to him. I'm giving him a shot here. Let him know. And then the final game of that weekend is going to be Browns at Steelers. Steelers sat their guys last week, right? They sat their guys, and they let the Browns in the playoffs, only to play them this weekend, going to beat them. They're going to beat them. But, you know, you always have to be careful that you don't want to let a team in only to have that team come back and beat you again. Um, but I like the Steelers. So this week I got the Bills. I got the uh, Seahawks, the Buccaneers on Saturday. Then I have the Titans, Saints, and Steelers um, on Sunday. Going to be an interesting week. I think uh, in the NFC, I think Green Bay is a team to beat. They have number one. They have the number one seed. You have to go to Green Bay. It's cold there. I like their chances at home to get to the Super Bowl. And then in, in, in the AFC, I, I think you have to say, logically, the Chiefs. But watch out for the Bills because I think the Bills are going to make noise. Uh, with that said, I will see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Talk to you later. I, look, I, I know I'm a little fired up today, but I'm just frustrated with this whole front office crap. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so it is what it is, and don't be a dingbat.